Hello Darts Nuts, welcome to Darts Review channel. In this video I'm going to be having a look at the Bulls Netherlands Max Hop Edition 4 Darts, so let's check them out. So I'm reviewing the 22 gram version, the 90% tungsten, you can also get them in 23 and 24 gram in steel tip, 16.5 gram in soft tip and the retail for £64.95. So the darts come in this cardboard packaging and again you've got some info on the back of the darts and the contents and inside you've got a hard plastic case and the darts fitted into a point holder and they come supplied with the bulls medium nylon stems and a set of the standard max hop maximizer flights So the dart's fitted with a black quarter point and it's a kind of a front weighted style. You've got a tapered nose section and gets a bit wider and then gradually tapers thinner to the rear. So quite a different style to the ones Maxop has used before. And it's basically a ring grip for the full length of the dart but varying widths of rings and also the grooves have got different widths and depths and we'll have a close look at the grip just now but quite a neat looking dart so it gets a little bit more grippy on them two sections with the wider spaced rings so maybe just front of middle and just behind middle so anyone gripping on there getting the best of the grip and it's fitted with the bulls medium nylon stems and these quite nice Max Hop Maximizer Standard Shape Flights. So you've got this tapered front with a more traditional thin ring and groove grip and you've got the silvery tungsten contrasting with the black tie coating. As you move along the rings are getting a little bit wider but uh, if you look at the grooves you've got a kind of a, I'm just getting into focus, kind of a flat square cut groove but then as the rings get wider again you've got a curved ring and groove so deeper grooves and wider rings so a little bit more grippy then as you get around the middle you've got a wide silvery band and then on the rest of the dart it's the curved grooves they're in kind of like uh, sets of two i guess with the flatter square grooves in between each set but it goes right to the end of the barrel on that part and just gets a little bit narrower towards the end so there you go that's the super close look at the bulls nl max hop edition four darts the darts fit with a black coat 30 millimeter point there's a tapered front and that's a flat ring grip and that's 10.7 millimeters and then you've got this mix of rings you've got some fairly narrow spaced rings with flat grooves and then the wider rings with the deeper curved grooves that's 14.2 in total then a smooth band 2.9 millimeters on the rear it's again a mixture of rings right to the end of the dart that's 20.2 millimeters length 48 millimeters width 6.96 millimeters twenty two point fifteen grams twenty two point sixteen grams and twenty two point fifteen grams full setup twenty four point zero seven grams Here's the balance with nothing attached and with the supplied setup and this is the balance with medium in between short nylon stems and standard flights. A little bit of a mix of grip levels here but the rings with the wider deeper grooves they're the grippiest at 7. Mm -hmm. 
quite a nice front weighted feel um grip maybe a little bit more grippy than it looks i think especially on the wider rings which i'm only feeling like on the edge of my thumb there actually i think i would have preferred them wider rings to be closer to the nose of the dart but that's just me Number five champion. <laughs> it's fairly chunky feel as well at that front, but quite a nice balance. I think a bit got a bit of a deflection on there which fluked it into the treble twenty, but I'll take it. <laughs> but yeah, it's got quite a nice feel that. I think if I was to change it more personally for me, I think I'd probably shorten the taper and have them wider rings a little bit closer to the nose. And I think it would have been just about right there because where I'm holding it now, I'm probably holding it just past the taper, which is not quite where I would normally hold it, but it just feels a bit nicer there because it's chunkier. But overall, I'd say nice balance for a front grip. Holding it, it's kind of straddling that smooth section in the middle, but because it's got the wide rings either side, it's still got a fair amount of grip there. Um, yeah, so you're kind of feeling the edges of that wide band, but I suppose it depends on how wide your fingers are, but I'm getting quite a bit of the edginess of the, the rings as well. Got a treble from the middle. Again, it's quite a nice balance there. Maybe just ever so slightly better from the front, but it's still got a very nice feel from that middle section. Oh, treble one champion. It's going into the trebles, ones. Yeah. I think it could work well for mid grippers so if you were a little bit worried about that smooth section I wouldn't because I think you still get a decent amount of grip and like I say if you've got fairly wide fingers you're still going to get plenty from the, the wide rings either side. I think on that rear section, them wider rings, you've got a little bit longer section of them. So maybe just a little bit more grippy on that rear part overall. Um, the only thing is it goes a bit thinner there because obviously it's tapering more. So for me, I did like the chunky feel at the front. So, But if you... A natural rear gripper. I think it could still be a very nice start if you like a front weighted style. And the grip is almost right to the end of the dart anyway. I know you get some slightly narrower rings there, but there's still a bit of grippiness to them. Yeah, didn't fly too bad there from the rear, so like I said, it could be a good one for rear grippers as well. So might be one of them darts that can suit any style really.
never mind. So that's the Bulls Netherlands Max Hop Edition 4 darts. I think for me personally, like I mentioned, a little bit of tweaking at that front and I think it would have been really nice dart for me. It is quite a pleasant dart overall. I think balance is nice for the front and the grip level is quite deceiving. A little bit more grippy than you, you might think. And I think it could work well for mid and rear grippers just as well if you like a, a slightly front weighted style. So there you go. I'll leave you with the gallery so you can have a closer look at them. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. And I'll see you in the next one. Happy darting.